October 17th, St. Margaret Mary Alacoque, Virgin and Apostle of the Sacred Heart. St. Margaret Mary was born on July 22nd in the year 1647 in Burgundy, France. During her infancy, she showed a wonderfully sensitive revulsion to the very idea of sin, and while still a young child, always recited the entire rosary every day. She lost her father at the age of eight years, and her mother placed her with the poor Clares. She was often sick, and for four years was bedridden with rheumatic fever, losing almost entirely the use of her members. She made a vow to Our Lady to become one of her daughters if she cured her, and she was suddenly entirely well. She was of joyful temperament, and her heart became easily attached to human affections. God began her purification when the charge of her mother's house was given to relatives who proceeded to treat her and her mother almost like servants. Margaret Mary turned to God for strength and consolation when she was accused of various crimes she had not committed. In short, the saint of the Sacred Heart learned to suffer for Christ with patience. What innocence can suffer in such situations? Margaret did not receive confirmation until she was twenty-two. But once she was fortified by the sacrament, she bravely confronted and decisively overcame her family's remaining opposition to her religious vocation. In 1671, she entered the Order of the Visitation of Mary at paray le monial and was professed the following year. She followed all the practices of the monastery in perfect obedience, spending as much time as she could in the chapel with our Lord. After sanctifying her by many trials, Jesus appeared to her in numerous visions, displaying to her his sacred heart, sometimes burning as a furnace, and sometimes torn and bleeding, on account of the coldness and sins of men. Behold this heart which has so loved men, and has been so little loved by them in return. In the year 1675, she was told by our Lord that she, with the aid of Father Claude de la Colombière, of the Society of Jesus was to be his instrument for instituting the Feast of the Sacred Heart and for spreading that devotion everywhere. This was not accomplished without great sufferings. The good Jesuit did all in his power to make known and loved the heart of Jesus. But when it seemed all obstacles were about to disappear, his credit diminished, and his superior sent him to England. He returned to France exhausted and soon died. St. Margaret Mary was for a time the mistress of novices, and in this office she exercised a true apostolate, working to win for the heart of Jesus the hearts of the young girls who were aspiring to religious consecration. She was persecuted when she sent one of them home, not having seen in her the indications of a genuine vocation. The family attempted to have her deposed. She remained in charge, but was deprived of Holy Communion on the first Friday of the month. This practice was one of our Lord's specific requests for souls who communicate nine First Fridays in succession. He promised the most wonderful graces. The demons also persecuted her visibly. Nonetheless, her entire community was finally won over to the devotion of the Divine Heart. St. Margaret Mary died at the age of 42 years on October 17th in the year 1690, and everywhere it was heard in the city, the saint is dead, the saint is dead. She was beatified in the year 1864 by Pope Pius IX and canonized in 1920 by Pope Benedict XV. Love for the Sacred Heart especially honors the Incarnation and makes the soul grow rapidly in humility, generosity, patience, and union with its beloved.